password. This is my first quarter exhibition. Uh, first, I'd like to acknowledge my mother. Uh, she's very nice. She takes me to school sometimes, uh, and she's always around. There's her at a concert. She was very excited. She got a bucket. Here is my father. Uh, he takes me to school. He's very helpful. Uh, you might know that uh, my computer had a fatal injury. He fixed it. Workshops, Met 201, and Reflection. Okay. Here are my learning goals. I made a slideshow. starting a magazine club with Luca. Uh, so that's that's what I'm using for this, taking initiative. Woo. Communicating honestly. Uh, here's me talking to my teachers. Um, yeah. Hold, holding myself accountable for my uh, late work. Uh, evidence of work. I put evidence of my work. Demonstrating respect. Um, I had a very respectful conversation with someone who wanted to join um, the, the club. Um, recognizing authority and recognizing feelings, needs, wants, goals of other people. Next quarter. Next quarter I want to work on my health and wellness. Uh, it's not, not the best it can be right now, but I, I will fix it. Uh, time management. That's like a constant thing that I need to work on because I'm really good at turning my work in late. Um, so, yeah. Cool, okay. And then here is my personal qualities assignment. Any questions? Who has uh, learning goals? <coughs> Ivan. No questions so far. Cool. Any, any uh, thing you can think of, you can ask later too? some point. <clears throat> okay, LTI. If it'll load, here is my cover letter and my resume. My internship is at G. Rossi Florist. Here's my mentor, Laura. Okay. Casper's search for an internship. Please, please can I work for you for free? The Clown Show. Act one. In the beginning, I requested five sites and an extra, just to be safe. Here, here they are. I had all of the information on the people, how to contact them, and information about them that I could find. I was so prepared. I had the complete cover, re cover letter and resume. Here are two sites that I pursued. Uh, Rockland Florist. They, we called, someone other than the owner picked up, called the second time, the owner picked up that they were doing a wedding or something, and then I emailed and they did not reply. Twigs, basically the same thing happened, but like longer. Uh, I think they said that they would call back in a week. Uh, they didn't, probably to keep me to stop, get me to stop bothering them. I emailed and they did not reply. Rocker Art Museum. We attempted to call them, uh, and then I emailed the education department, no answer. I emailed one of the mentors listed on in Blaze, no answer. Emailed the other mentor listed on in Blaze, no answer. Eli went over to the Crocker to see what was going on. Apparently they are under new management and the people that I've been emailing don't work there anymore. Fun times. Um, I emailed them again and I did not receive a reply. Here they are, here are the emails. And to, to add on to that, I actually just received an email yesterday. That's crazy. 
saying, oh, by the way, we're not doing internships this semester, so good call on jumping on G. Rossi. Okay, the next museum is the <laughs> California Museum, which, which they were like nicer to me. We called them, no answer, called again, and they said that I had to fill a bunch of requirements and that I needed to be 16 years old. No, I'm not that yet. Uh, they apparently changed their mind, so I emailed them. They, we had like a text, like an email conversation with my cover letter and about like interests and stuff that I wanted to do. But it turns out that they don't, they're doing a bunch of stuff and they don't have openings until mid-November, which is boring and frankly rude. Here are the honorable mentions. Act two, things are starting to look up. Vicky comes into class and says that one of the florists that I've requested is interested. So, um, we called them and we scheduled a shadow day for the next day. Here is my site. It's a flower shop. They make bouquets, flower arrangements. There were a ton of plants in there um, and I made a mess trying to fix them. Here's my mentor, Flora. Uh, she's a florist. She actually went to the Met and she was in Grace's advisory. Um, so she, yes, yeah, she's very nice. Here are some other people there. I think Jessica, Ellie, Boss, who I've never seen and only heard of as the boss, which is kind of like intimidating. Um, the delivery guy who I forgot, and then here is uh, Laura's dog, who I tripped over, but is very cute. I, I met Ellie yesterday. She's actually quite nice. Yes. Uh, here is my shadow day, which is all that I've done so far. Um, I was given a tour of the shop, I watched Laura make an order, and then I replicated that order, and she gave me like critiques so I can learn, um, and then I got to go and get uh, tea, and I got, I got some for myself. And then I like watched Laura make more orders, and she like explained how to do the things. And then I uh, made a mess uh, fixing plants. Three things I learned. That's actually um, one of the things that I made. What did it's, um, I forget what it's called, but you put the soil in and then you put the plants in there and it looks nice. <laughs> so true. I forget the goal what of every the flower exact shop. thing is called though. Um, I, three things I learned. One is how the shop runs and their style of doing things and also sort of their expectations. Two, how to use some of the mediums like floral foam and scrap bouquet and like that stuff. Uh, weird building fun facts. There's like a hidden staircase that you don't see until you fall down it. It's like behind a shelf. It's like weird. And there's like a bunch of creepy stuff that they don't own from the last people there down there. And there's like a bunch of bunny costumes and a wall of antique suitcases. So that's pretty cool. Internship project. Not quite sure yet. One idea is maybe adding new arrangements to the site because that's a thing that Laura said I could do. So yeah, but I will I will look more into that later since I've only done the shadow day. So Casper, if you actually look up there from the corner, you see that, yeah, you see that nice flower arrangement? That actually came from your internship yesterday when I went to go visit Wesley, not me, I, I can't take credit for that. Our student teacher decided to buy that for the advisory. Um, and he says, hey, can you turn uh, to it as Casper's presenting? Um, so she sees the nice, beautiful arrangements that, that are done there at her shop, or his shop. Any questions? Any cool that internships again? Yeah, any questions? Workshops. Um, I have Math 2 with Chase, I have a 93. World History with Josue, I have a 100%. Spanish with Chico, I have a 90%. English with Latham, I have a 92. Advisory, I have a 108. Uh, PE, I have a 42. That is my fault. I need to talk to you because I keep forgetting about how to uh, make my grade higher because I'm a little bit confused and I forgot to talk to you about it later. Okay. I mean, yeah, earlier. Fix that. Okay, and then learning through internship. Uh, I got an internship really late, and also I didn't do a lot of the internship assignments, so that is like half my bad and half just like circumstance. And HTD 330, which is my college class, I got an 82. Woo, okay. 
Here's my assignment highlight. It's from Spanish with Chico. Um, I'm very proud of it. And he showed Araclio, and they were very uh, proud of it as well. So my favorite it? part, uh -huh. uh, it's an altar for Dia de los Muertos. Um, and it's for Fletch from the Pesh Mode. Um, my favorite parts are the papel picados uh, that I cut myself. I made, I made them all by myself with wrap paper, a knife, and other paper. Yeah. My plans to improve. I need to work on turning work in on time uh, because that's like a theme. I also need to try and avoid and work through burnout because that's like the other thing that's like plaguing my grades. So I need to figure that out. My use of advisor time was like, it was fine. It could have been more productive, but like it's acceptable. Any questions? When is workshop? one I did all of my health and wellness hours I think I did greater than or equal to four hours per week I don't know how much that is but it's it's an amount like here's here's a log I walked dogs walked places and went to therapy so that's pretty cool um, community service I did garden club uh, I trolls tomatoes pruned plants did plant things, digging things. Uh, here's my signed document and here are the pictures of the garden. My cultural event was uh, the Souls of the City in Old Sack. Um, it was out of my comfort zone because it was extremely loud and crowded and I like lasting, lasting effects from that. Um, it was really gorgeous, but I couldn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to because I was suffering. So yeah, here are some beautiful pictures of it and also the poster. My book reflection, I read Vile Bodies by Evelyn Wow. Um, it's a satire about uh, real people that, were, that went to parties and were psychotic um, in the 1920s. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, Adam, Adam is a writer traveling uh, from France back to England uh, where we meet a lot of the characters and he's writing this book, but his book gets confiscated in customs, so he kind of is out of a job and all of his money. So he spends a lot of the book trying to get his money back, um, and he rapidly gains and loses money, and it's crazy, um, and there's crazy people with crazy names. Uh, so it's pretty cool, it's very funny, and the pacing is dizzy making. Eight out of 10, recommend. I'm using it for also also using it for my English project, which I will talk about uh, next quarter because it's still in, in the process of being completed. But yeah, I'm very excited about that project. Uh, any questions? quarter are uh, to finish my English project and be happy with it, make the magazine club like progress and have like more people uh, still working on that, pass all of my classes with a B or higher, Ooh, hopefully, hopefully that will happen, I am putting things in place to make that happen, uh, and start on my internship project. The end.